Okay. All right. All right. Welcome to Hillside Harvest Homestead. Uh, today we got a surprise for you and for me. I walked out to the bee yard. Was gonna do a little uh, video on them today, and then uh, apparently I've got to my bees a little too late, or either that it's my neighbor's bees, but I'm assuming it's mine. But uh, walked out here and I noticed there was a swarm on one of the smaller pines next to my hives. So what we're gonna do today is uh, see if we can't gather them up and uh, keep them. Um, wasn't really prepared for a swarm, but uh, I grabbed some pieces to some nooks and um, actually this right here I built for a queen bank for uh, making queens, but I drilled an entrance down here at the bottom since I don't have no uh, bottom boards for my little nook boxes at the moment. But um, what I'm gonna do is um, see if I can't snap this branch <coughs> and uh, get these bees down in this lower box right here and then I'll set this box on top of it. And what I'm doing right now is just looking to make sure the queen is still not on this. Because if she is, the bees will not stay in the box. So. And the reason I'm not getting stung is because most bees are, uh, when they're in their swarming mode, they're pretty docile. They're filled up on honey and nectar. They're just looking for a new home so and to protect the queen so they're not really in the uh, stinging you. So that's why I didn't have no protective gear on. I wasn't really worried about them. But it appears we got our queen in the box, I'm hoping. We'll find out here in a little bit. They're letting everybody know, hopefully, this is home. Well, 
All right, I'm just gonna explain what a swarm actually is. Typically when a colony either outgrows their um, box or you know whatever dwelling they're in, if they outgrow it, <laughs> uh, the queen will actually start producing other queen cells and then she'll start prepping herself, which is losing some weight to be able to fly, to um, actually leave the colony. She'll take half the bees with her and then uh, they will also take uh, part of the stores with them. Um, and they'll leave uh, the younger bees and um, some of the foraging, but uh, they'll leave half the colony with the hive and uh, in preparations for that new queen to hatch out. And, uh, and she'll take over the new reign of the hive. And so the other one to go out, the ones that swarm, you know, because they're looking to uh, find new space for them. They're just, you know, they're just in search of a new home. And uh, so they'll set, scout bees out to look for a place while they uh, stay uh, bundled up in a ball on a limb or, you know, pretty much anything. They'll bundle up on a ball and protect the queen and make sure she stays at a decent temperature. So uh, what I am going to have to do, which I'm pretty sure it's this blue hive right here that swarmed on me. I meant to get to it. I know two weeks ago I split it and they did have a swarm, uh, sw a cell, queen cell already in there. So I was hoping that queen would hatch. And uh, But during the meantime, uh, there was still a lot of brood left in that box. So apparently when the queen hatched out... Um, she, we just went ahead and wanted to swarm. I'm not really sure on that, so but that's why I want to get in that box and check out, make sure, see if they actually still, if they had a lean queen before they left. Because I know it was two weeks ago, so I knew she had to have been uh, hatched and bred and uh, been lean, but I was hoping she wasn't going to be lean um, profusely, like a bunch of eggs a day by now. But apparently, I might be wrong, so. But I will get in that box, check them out, make sure, uh, see if they have eggs, make sure if the queen that did leave was uh, bred. And um, and then this hive that right now the camera's on, uh, we're going to go in there and put a uh, queen excluder on and a um, super. So uh, this probably will be the only hive I get honey out of this year, but you never know. But if I do get any honey out of the other ones, it's going to be very little. So, can't crawl up in the okay. unwanted place. Well, they still crawl, they probably still sting through it. got a queen going on. Here is a, here's a queen that got killed. Do they kill queens yeah, if they have too many? They'll make multiple, they can make multiple queen cells. And so typically the first one that hatches out will go around and kill the other ones. Huh. This is a queen. Dragon, the dead queen. Oh. That's why I look like some of the bees there. Oh, okay. So. My 
this is why you always check the top cover when you open up. I have my queen right there. See her running around? I don't know if it's the one they want. It's the one they have. So there could be multiple queens in her. I'm pretty sure this was the habit one. Look at all those queens. And we got some more trying to open up. We got multiple queens in there. So what are they going to do with all those queens? They kill them? Or? Yeah, most likely kill them. Okay. Well, whoever is the main queen will end up killing them. And they produced those queens because it was getting full in there? Huh? So is it the reason that they made all those queens? Yeah, because they were getting full. Because it was getting full. Okay. So now that it's split, though, the main queen will kill those other ones. Yeah. Place. What the biggest in the bag is the bar. You got a drone? No, it's not a drone. Was that the queen that you showed us? Yeah. Okay. See, she's pretty big too, so. She may have been like the first one. Yeah. Mm. She's just killing off the ones that are, she's probably not Brad, so. Um, 
what I'll do is uh, go ahead and put another box on them. Because here in a little bit, this hive is going to be game busters and I don't want them to swarm again. So. See, actually that queen over there is probably the one that got mated, uh, hatched first. Oh. And then this one right here is just the one, you know, nature will take its course. Whichever queen is the strongest will win. Mm -hmm. So, now I'm going to check out this little hive right here. See what she's like. Make sure she ain't growing too fast on me. Because I don't have nothing to put her in right now. So this is the original queen from this blue hive two weeks ago that I took out when I noticed queen cells in there. So This one also has some queen cells. Is it getting kind of full in there then? Well, they're already hatched out. Looks like something chewed through. I'm looking for the signs of eggs. Yeah, queen.
of some brood. Well, there's already been a couple of them open, so... Huh. But they don't have a lean queen yet, so... So either that... The original queen was getting old? Or there was something wrong with her? So they replaced her. I mean, there's been a queen in her lane because it's brood. It's just hatching out. Oh, got a mite on its back. I need to treat these guys. Oh, there's my queen right there. So we have a queen. Do you not know how old she is? She doesn't look very fat. Right there? No, that is a drone. A drone. So my queen. Where'd she go? I lost her. I have a bee in my shoe. I can feel it. That yeah, that's her. Right there. Yeah. Okay. See, she's still narrow, but she's a lot longer than the other bees. Okay. <clears throat> and a drone is shorter than the queen, but has a little more girth on its body. So, well, either this is the old queen, which I don't think she is, because she looks too small. The original queen that was in this hive was uh, a lot bigger than that. So... We'll see what happens. Why are these falling up? Is that a queen? What is that that they're on? Um, this is a queen, a plastic queen cup. This is from the actual uh, people who did the nuke. Okay. <laughs> they raise their own queens. Okay. And so that's just a leftover piece of plastic because they'll graft their own queens. They'll okay. put the egg in there and then put these in there and let them oh. grow a queen. So 
I'll put this guy back and see what's going on in the other ones. There are no eggs at all. So if the other queen is not laying eggs, would that be another reason for them to be making all these queen cells? Yeah. If, uh, if the colony doesn't think that the queen is mm -hmm. doing her job properly, they will start replacing her. And they will end up killing her out. So. So you basically just kind of have to watch if it looks like it's yeah. getting full then yeah. obviously you need to give them more room but if it doesn't look like they're full then yeah. that must mean that the, and that there's no brood in there that the queen is yeah just not productive and so you need to just let them do their thing then yeah mm -hmm. yeah so typically I, you know usually what i do is um once a box gets to nearly three quarters drawn out or full mm -hmm. then um, i'll go ahead and put another box on them you always want to be one step ahead of them because as soon as you get behind, then, because um, when, once they start getting in a swarmy mode, or uh, it's kind of hard to uh, stop them. You could split them and all that, but mm -hmm. you never know how bad that queen really wants to swarm. Because I really have no clue how old this one queen is that originally started with this hive. Queen cells. So we still have three queen cells in this hive. No, actually. One, two, three. So far, three queen cells. We have found a queen. We have found no eggs at all. All right, so we'll come back here probably in the uh, probably the middle of this coming week and check it back up on this off just to see what's happened to those other queen cells. Because um, I don't, I think they're replacing the queen that's in there, but I'm not quite sure. I know there is no eggs in there, so it's been a while since a queen has laid. So if that was the queen that originally started in this hive that actually come from this hive when I first noticed the swarm cells. I took the queen from that hive, placed her over here with some um, brood and pollen and honey. <clears throat> so, and that was two weeks ago. So, and there's no eggs in there since then. So there's a good chance that queen was actually failing when I took her from this hive and that's why they were producing the, the cells that they did. So, this hive in the meantime decided to swarm anyways because there was a ton of brood in there and I did mean to uh, get another box on them. I just didn't want them to be overwhelmed with the space before that brood hatched out. But um, 
but apparently they made plenty of queen cells too and once that brood hatched out they decided to swarm too because that one box wasn't enough for them so so right now we've got three hives off of one nook so far this year so that's pretty cool if i can keep them alive <laughs> They've got nectar all in this one. Oh, sorry about that beat. I just missed it. And all these cells are drawn out. Starting to... There's a little nectar in one of them. Not very much. But I want to see if the queen has got up there. It started laying. is pretty this hive has been booming in the last two weeks make sure I don't need to create more space for the queen to lay of little swarm cups but they are not laid in they better not be laid in but there is an egg in that one are those the swarm cells? Well, these they, they'll make or swarm cups swarm cups yeah okay. that means they're there for the queen to lay in if she thinks the hive's getting too big okay. i'm just tearing them up yep i see some on the other side All right. yeah i busted them up okay Look at that, it's a perfect thing. You get your brood, a little bit of larva, pollen, honey. No queen. Which, this is just in two weeks too. and honey and all this right here is bees ready to hatch out they've already been capped they're in the process of hatching out that's how many more bees will be added to this massive amount of hive so 
They really need space. Honey from this shit. Hmm. We're gonna give them some ventilation. To be able to get in. Get in and out and also just ventilation. ventilation. Oops, smush, smush one. 